Big story in Robertson County to uh, today in the Robertson County Times, perhaps the first time ever a Republican candidate featured on the front page of the Robertson County Times as uh, Kerry Roberts, who recently ran for Congress in the 6th Congressional District, the race won by uh, Diane Black, is uh, now throwing his hat into the ring in a special election for the state Senate seat uh, vacated by Diane Black in Sumner County and Robertson County. That's the area that uh, is covered. Special election set for January 20th. Um, and sp early voting will start basically January 1st, which means the campaign season is on now. They aren't actually open, you know, on January 1st, so it'll be whenever they're first back open to, to start letting people have the chance to early vote, say about January 4th. Um, that means campaigning during the Christmas season. Kerry Roberts in studio with us today with uh, with his announcement that uh, that you're going to get back into the political arena. You just got out of the political arena. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I, you know, when I got into the congressional race, I, I, I really, my desire was to try and make a difference. And... And I'd never run for office before, never done it before, but was just somebody who was frustrated with the way that things were going and just had a sense that incumbents were vulnerable this time around. And, you know, when I lost the congressional race, it really didn't change the desire to try and make a difference. And somebody had pulled me aside and said, you know, you're really naive. You thought you could go to Washington and make a difference. The real battleground is here at the state. If you really want to make a difference, when Diane wins this race, you should run for her seat because the next battleground is the state. You know, the states are, have simply become administrators for federal programs, and the states have to push back or we're all going to be broke. We're all going to be wards of the federal government. And so I listened to that, and I thought about it, and, and I just said, well, I'll think about it. But at the time, I was really concerned about getting back to my business and trying to, to get caught up there. And, and um, I, I got involved in some of the campaigning, and, and and working on some of the different campaigns, and uh, everywhere I went, people said, you know, you really ought to run for Diane Seed, you really ought to run. And so I just kept saying, well, I'm going to work on my business, work on my business, and, and uh, here it is, it's time to make a decision, and my wife and I have talked about it and prayed about it, and we decided to do it. Now, in the congressional race, it was a long run. I mean, you yes. had months and months and months. You were out on the campaign trail. You guys went to countless numbers of for the Republican primary, and then obviously it continued on for, for Diane Black and Brett Carter after that. But for months, you were out there on the campaign trail. This is a sprint. I mean, this isn't this isn't a marathon. This isn't one of those tour to cure, thirty mile bike rides that, that we went on last spring. I mean, this is a full on sprint. And and unfortunately, you've got a campaign basically during the Christmas holiday season. I mean, it's December first. The last thing people are wanting to think about the next three or four weeks is you're cranking up and raising money and and starting to have to run you know media and and think about organizing, getting people to turn out and vote early and all that stuff. This, this has to be the worst time to, to even get people to think about this stuff. Well, it is, but, I, you know, having been through it and, and knowing who to call and the people to have in an organization, I, we, we've hit the ground running very quickly. And, and, of course, I made a lot of mistakes in the congressional campaign. I, I, I had no idea what I was doing when I got into it, but I learned. And so it's amazing. We, I feel like we've made more progress in a matter of days than we did in a matter of months in the congressional campaign. And, and of course, there's, uh, you know, we've got the list of volunteers, we've got the email list and things like that. So we're able to mobilize people pretty quickly. And in a special election, a lot of times there's just not much of a turnout at all. So uh, it is a sprint, but it's, it's really, it, it's interesting. It's not, a, it's not a race on ideology. This is a race about who can get the most people out to vote starting January 4th. Now, one of the one of the issues that's, that's out there is that you got Deborah Maggard, State Representative mm -hmm. Deborah Maggard from over in, in Hendersonville. Her name keeps being bandied about as, as a potential candidate. Do you have the sense that some people are waiting to see what she does before they get in? I mean, you're you're already in. Are, are others waiting to see what she does? Do you think she runs? Well, I think others are, and I don't think she'll run. I'll tell you exactly why. Deborah's a good fiscal conservative, and and she knows if she gets in this race that she's going to cost the taxpayers a lot of money for a special election should she win. You know, she just she just ran a race and won and won quite handily. She would clearly be a, a favorite in this race, but she also knows it would be extremely expensive to the taxpayers, and I, I just don't think that that doesn't seem to fit her. She's she's a real responsible person. I just don't see her doing it. And she's in the midst of a, of a caucus chairman race to be oh, right, you know, right. leader in the Republican caucus. She's in a it's kind of hard position. if she's asking for that position to at the same time say, oh, by the way, either I just got elected or didn't get elected by my colleagues. Now I want to run for something else. I'm, I'm not sure how she finesses that. Uh, do you have a website set up? Are you, are you that far ahead? Or I know you just well, announced it today. Actually, we'll be shifting kerryroberts.com from the congressional website to the state website very soon. And of course, we'll be on Facebook up later today. kerryroberts.com. Kerry Roberts running in the state Senate making the announcement here. We appreciate right. it. And uh, we'll talk with you again soon. Hey, we're back.
tomorrow. In the meantime, go to gilreport.com. You'll find links to the stories we've talked about, and we'll be back tomorrow. Perfect. Thanks, man.